position my camera real quick to get kind of me in here, even though I'm not what you guys are here to see. Of course, we're right in the middle of another day of SHOT Show videos, live streaming here from the ATI booth. Again, it's booth number 16538. Uh, I'm here with Phil with Big Toes. Big Toes, as you guys know, you've seen them in our videos. Uh, some of my jackets that I wear, or one of the jackets that I wear, all of the gloves that I've been wearing, and occasionally you get a glimpse of some of the shoes and the footwear that I've been wearing also. These guys are the ones that produce all that. They make some great products. Um, full disclosure, just to let you guys know that we sought them out last year. Uh, they did provide us with some gear to use on our show, but it was us that sought them out because we saw the gear, we liked the gear, it looked good, and feel quite frankly, we're really happy with it now. After using it for a whole year, we're just as happy with it now, and we're happy to have you on the show to talk about some new stuff that you guys have. Yeah, and uh, just a little background. Uh, uh, Paul did come to us uh, at the show last year. That was day one for us. I mean, that's really when we started the business. So it, some people are not familiar with us. That's okay, we're one year old. But what we like to say is, uh, you know, every great company was one year old at one point in time. Absolutely. So we're very happy with where we are right now. But on the other hand, we still need to reach out to a lot more people with a lot more ideas. Yeah, you, you guys, I can tell you, I was telling Phil in the break that um, we have done really well with their, uh, their tactical glove wear. Um, you know, a lot of law enforcement guys, we have a retail store down in Louisiana, we also move some of our products sometimes. And the, the, the gloves are probably the biggest hit that we have. Although my favorite really is the footwear. I think the footwear is extremely comfortable. Um, it looks good. And I know you brought some with you over here. Let's talk about the new boot that you guys have out here at SHOT Show this year. So, for the last year, our number one selling boot has been the Johnny Combat, which looks very, very much like this. New, this is a waterproof, breathable version of it. So about the only difference from the Johnny Combat that we've been selling for a year that I think is exactly the one that you got yep. is uh, there's a little half zipper on the back of the standard one. When we went to a waterproof breathable uh, barrier that's on the inside, then we removed that zipper. And uh, so this has been a really comfortable boot for us. It kind of does fit like in its own category. It, it really is made to be light. It's not made to do absolutely everything like a, an AR670 compliant boot, which we do make, but it's not made to be that. It's made to be a little bit lower, a little bit lighter, a lot more comfortable, and a little less in the way of ankle support right here in order to give us something that's lighter and more comfortable that you can walk around in and stand up in. Now you mentioned, this is very important, you mentioned waterproof. Yeah. Is it water resistant or is it actually waterproof? No, it is actually waterproof. Okay. It is waterproof. If, if it was water resistant, we would say that very well. Well, you know how there's that. There's some claims that are made yeah. out there sometimes of waterproof, and it's absolutely not waterproof. You put them on your foot, and you're like, these are not waterproof. These guys here are waterproof, and they're standing behind them. Yeah, and actually, we have six boots right now in the line as of uh, today when we've launched all this stuff. Uh, three of them are waterproof. And all of our waterproof boots do it. And, and some of you out there can know exactly what I'm talking about. Some waterproof boots create something that we call swamp foot. And that's where the sweat and the perspiration and everything stays inside the boot. And it stays in the boot all day long and you cannot wait to get those things off. The barrier that we put on the inside here is waterproof. Okay. And it is tested to an international standard to prove that it's waterproof, but it's also breathable. So it helps prevent that kind of swamp foot thing going on. But please understand, and this is just being full disclosure, whenever somebody tells you that they got a waterproof breathable boot, it is not as breathable as a boot that does not have that waterproof breathable in there. Or it's not really waterproof if it's breathable. Exactly. If it's totally breathable, I mean, you got to seal it off at some point, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, the, the way the thing works, it's really, it, it's not that complicated, but, but it might be more than you need to know. But basically, there's, there's a membrane on the inside here, and it has microscopic holes in it. Those holes are so small that water droplets cannot pass through because water droplets are cohesive. But when water in the form of sweat turns into vapor and it is something that's warm and hot, those vapor molecules are so small they will pass through those tiny little holes in it. So yes, you can submerge this in water and it stays dry. And yes, perspiration, things like that pass back out through it. But just be aware of the fact that if you're in hot conditions, yeah. you probably want a non-waterproof breathable boot. Yeah. So you just have to have more than one. But this is a fantastic new product. This is a really cool, in my opinion, I'll call it a hybrid because it's really got the feel of a kind of an all-terrain, um, almost like a tennis, tennis shoe, sneaker type thing because of the flexibility. I love the way that uh, everything is made on the bottom. You've got your awesome grip right here. I mean, they're, the treads on the bottom of this thing are unbelievable. Um, but yeah, this doesn't, This when you think of waterproof, 
you're usually thinking of an old rubber boot or something like <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah. You know, this and is they totally are waterproof. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They are definitely waterproof. Yeah. So I like to look at this, and it comes in different colors, right? Absolutely. There are several different colors. This is the gray just because it kind of shows up well in the camera. The number one color is obviously black. There is a coyote colorway, okay. and there is a colorway that we call Spartan, which is really about the color of your shirt there. Okay. So we do have a lot of colors. We have a lot of sizes. We go from 7 up to 15, and we have half size as well. So really, if you're a Bigfoot, you know, come on down. Uh, one other thing, probably the last thing I want to show here, these are small details, but we're kind of proud of our small details. This is a sole that we actually designed. Sometimes when you buy footwear for somebody, they, they buy someone else's sole. Okay. Because creating a mold for every size of sole is actually very expensive. When we designed that, all these little cleats right here, it's kind of hard to see, but maybe you can. The bottom of the cleat that's towards the ground is smaller than the top of the cleat. And the reason why is that makes it self-cleaning. Now, understand that, that mud and muck sticks to things right. to a certain degree, but when it's the same height all the way down, the mud and the gunk has more traction onto the little lug, and it just means that it clogs up with dirt okay. and muck a lot easier. We try to make this as self-cleaning as you can get, yeah. which is only to a certain degree, but honestly, it's better than not doing it. Well, the only downside I see to that is Mama's carpet. You don't want it to self-clean on Mama's carpet. Make sure you self-clean before you get in the house. I would, I would highly recommend. Yeah, yeah. If, if you're uh, uh, if your wife is part of your purchase decision, it would probably be really important to, to let her know that you're leaving them outside. That's exactly right. Or that they are self-cleaning before I get in the house. They will be clean. That might be a good sales pitch for her. Yeah. Uh, no, I, I, I really I like your footwear. That's what drew me originally to you guys. Of course, I gravitated towards the gloves, and I love the glove wear. But the footwear is what caught my attention originally. Um, I think you guys are making things that are not just functional, but the aesthetic pleasing part is good too. Because when you're paying more than 20 bucks for something you're putting on your foot, it, it'd be nice for it to look nice, you know? Yeah. So that, that's one thing I like about you guys. Now the gloves. The gloves are something that I'm a big fan of. You guys have a massive array of gloves. The functionality of those gloves is there's, you can get a thin glove. I use the thin gloves a lot at the range when I'm going to be shooting a lot, when I would get lead on my hands. But you guys make some really cool tactical gloves. Yeah. and. Uh, we are known for our gloves. Gloves are our number one selling product category. Uh, and we just came out with some new ones. This one, however, is not new. Okay. But I wanted to show it again because it is our number one seller and, okay. it, and it's just fun too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so there's a lot of things I could point out about the glove that would probably just bore you guys. There are a lot of th real cool things about it. Uh, you do have a synthetic leather palm. And, and why synthetic leather? It, it's not to keep the price down. Uh, synthetic leather maintains its traction a lot better than real cow hides do or goat hides when it's wet. So if this thing is going to get wet and soaked with sweat, which is going to happen, you are better off with a synthetic leather palm glove than a standard leather palm glove. Okay. Uh, we also put silicone grip on the inside there, so there's a little extra grip. Uh, our leather patch right here is just to give it a little bit of extra uh, abrasion resistance, especially right here, slide bite. Yep. You don't want the slide bite either to hurt your hand or to rip up your glove. Yeah. Then you got to buy a new one. Uh, all of our gloves are touchscreen compatible, so you can use your smartphone, you can use some of the GPS devices, things like that. And this is a, a little sewn on piece right there that is the, uh, uh, the touchscreen compatible part. Right. And, and I'll explain that in just a second too. Uh, when, we, when most people make gloves, the vast majority of gloves that you will ever, ever see, and, and this is up to this day, you will see a little sewn on piece right here. Sometimes it's bonded on, sometimes it's sewn on. But understand this, every glove has a lifespan. Eventually they die. Yeah. And how they usually die is they split in a seam. Mm -hmm. So as a glove manufacturer, the less seams we can put on something, the longer the glove is going to live. Yeah. So this is our number one seller. I'm sorry, I'm kind of skipping around here for a second, so I apologize to you. Uh, the coolest thing about this glove, honestly, is these little letters in the back. So this glove is called a War Torn, and you're familiar with yep. this. These little letters on the back, one glove says War on it, the other one says Torn. So when you buy it, it says War Torn across the back. The thing is, is these letters come off. They're Velcro. This is a provisional patent of ours. And then you could buy a whole letter kit. Excuse my reach here. We've got the whole alphabet here, and including some symbols. Okay. So you could customize yours. You could put just about anything you want on the back here that's going to fit. Uh, we designed this specifically, so somebody that, that's in a unit, uh, they're in an agency, there's a department, uh, they're in a shooting club, whatever it is that they really want to customize this, their own name, that's what we designed it for. Uh, however, just about every insult you could possibly imagine, we've also seen somebody put okay. it back there, and then they share it with all their friends as if the insult is fun. 
that's not what we designed it for, but you know what? Each is older. There are four spaces there, so I can imagine some of the words that get put yeah. on there. So. Four, and then when you got the two of them side by side, yeah. you kind of got eight. Uh, and that's why we actually add like the little hashtag and some yeah. other symbols in here, so you can space it around. Uh, be friendly, people, right. you know? Uh, but anyway, it's whatever you want, and that's what makes this thing really, really fun, and it's really cool, too. We do have a lot of departments that they put right on the back there. We have a guy that's put canine officer across the back for he, he, he took a letter out of there. We have a lot of agencies, okay. a lot of four-letter four agencies and stuff like that that put yeah, on yeah, there, yeah. and we're really proud of that fact. They dig it. Uh, it's an excellent glove, but that's kind of just the fun aspect. So cool. this is called the War Torn Glove. Again, it's been around for a year or so. We're well known for it, but it's still kind of a unique concept. Now you have, I know you didn't bring them, but you have other gloves. Oh, you did. You did bring another glove. Which one is that? I, this one's brand new, so that's kind of why I wanted to bring it. Okay. Uh, this one's called an LEO glove. So we really wanted to make some gloves that were specifically designed for the law enforcement officer. doesn't mean it, it, it doesn't apply to other people, but that's why this one is really smooth in the back. Okay. The people that, if you got to put your hands in somebody else's pocket, reach in there looking around for stuff, having a glove that's smooth in the back, it just goes in a lot easier gotcha. instead of something with the armor on the back. That's right. Uh, so we created a line of these gloves that are for law enforcement officers. So we call it LEO. So this is an LEO vented glove. So uh, this is your Louisiana style right here. Yep, yep. Uh, we've got a vented one for the summertime. We've got a standard one that's kind of the all weather version. We call it duty. And we also have an insulated one for cold weather. Beyond that though, we do have kind of a new thing that we put on here. I was explaining to you how normally a glove manufacturer makes a, a glove that is touchscreen compatible. And they have to put that little piece of material on there. And the reason they don't use it on the whole palm is it really doesn't make that great of a material to hang on to firearms with, or really to hang on to anything with. It's also really expensive. But there's always new inventions. Mm -hmm. And we're some of the first people that jump on those new inventions. So we did not develop this material, but we're the first one in the tactic industry that have this material on there. The whole thing is touchscreen compatible, which means that we've eliminated those little seams right there. We've just eliminated one more easy way that a glove dies. So that's what we did here. It's, it's a fantastic new glove and everything. You'll probably never actually feel what goes on in there with that, but we know we made a glove that's gonna live longer, so we're really proud of that. So just the whole palm material is that touchscreen. And you still have traditional grip. Is that the silicone that you have on the inside? Yeah, so silicone imprint right there always helps you hang on to a firearm, especially in difficult conditions. So you'll notice that say a wet a really wet uh you know situation that you might be in rain sweat something like that they still have the silicone there and i like that that's a very nice touch right there and i'm gonna tell you on the other glove the war torn you've got it on there i, I find that in louisiana conditions where it's really sweaty it does allow you to hold on that gun a little bit in fact what i've noticed the biggest benefit to that on the inside of you guys glove is charging a slide when your hands are really wet absolutely that makes a absolutely. big difference you're not going to slip off of it or something like yeah. that it's a real positive grip that you're going to get on that and very very nice touch yeah another thing that happens too i mean there there are difficult situations that we all get in and there's difficult situations especially the law enforcement officers and military get in and uh you don't always have a chance to grab the firearm exactly the way that you yeah. wanted to but you have to deal with it you have to deal with the situation and that's one of the reasons we want that extra grip on there too just in case you're not holding the firearm exactly the way it needs to be you're able to grip it properly anyway so we're always trying to help you yeah, out in that yeah. direction so Again, a really good smooth glove, and, and, I, and I'm really digging. These are actually laser hole perforations, nice. you know, so I kind of geek out on the, the details like sure. that, like that sure. it's perforated with laser. Uh, but anyway, Leo gloves, they're brand new with us. We're showing with the show here for the first time, and, uh, and they're going well, so. No, I like it. I mean, the, the full line of stuff you guys have, I know we're talking about most of the footwear and the gloves, but these guys have a lot of stuff. Uh, a couple of caps that they have that I'm a big fan of. I mean, actually, some of you guys have asked me where I got the cap from. And to be truthful, the cap that I'm wearing now is one of our caps. That's what it, they have a camo cap that has kind of a, I guess, a wash look to it, to where it looks like it's been through the yeah. washing machine a few times. And I like mine so much that I got from them that we tried to duplicate it, which we didn't work successful at it. But uh, it's still not the, like theirs. But it, they have some cool stuff. Shirts, you have pants. One thing I'm interested to try out probably this coming year is uh, you guys have the tactical like blue jeans. Uh, oh, yes, or the yes, denim, yes. I should say. Yep, yep. And uh, that's a cool look, man. I like that. I, in fact, I know you guys have been focusing on the pocket. It's got the little green tab right there. Yeah. Just a neat look, you know, it's a neat look. I mean, like I said, it's not like we buy these things for how they look. 
but it'd sure be nice to pay that much money and have something that looks good, that comes along with the durability and the usability of it. So, I mean, let's get the best of the worlds if we can, if we want to pay a decent price tag. And, and, and you guys' stuff, I think, I've looked at other, other people out there that I've used, the price is right in line with everybody else. You know, I don't feel that, it, you have to look at you get what you pay for. And you can spend 20 bucks, you can spend 15 bucks on a pair of gloves. And like you said earlier, they have a lifespan, you find out how short their lifespan is. Yeah. So I've been using you guys' stuff for over a year. Now I do rotate between about two or three different pairs of gloves, but I can tell you they look brand new. I keep the black pair, the real thin black pair that you guys have yeah. in my range bag, and that's my go-to pair of gloves. And, no sign of wear whatsoever. Yeah, so yeah. I can attest to it. The glove he's referring to is called an operator's glove. It retails for 25 bucks. Very, very simple. But that, that's our glove that we really call our second skin. And it, it really is a range type thing. You yes. know, it, it's it's not the more outdoorsy thing. There's a lot of cool things in that thing, but it's a $25 glove. The jeans he's talking about, that's called a gunfighter jean. And and honestly, people, it retails for 150 bucks, which is which is not a small amount of money. But the thing is, that the coolest thing about it, you can't actually hardly see. What makes it that much money is, is denim is cotton. It's just the way that they, they stitch it together and everything, the way that it's woven together. That's what makes it denim. But, but it's cotton. Ours is a blend of cordura and cotton. And cordura is five times more abrasion resistant than cotton. So by blending it together, we've made a pant that's going to last a lot longer. How much longer? Depends on how much use you put yeah, it through. Yeah. We got a law enforcement officer that, that's close to us, and he was one of the first guys to get a hold of one. He says, I'm gonna run this through the ringer for you. He wore it every single day for a year, with multiple washings, of course. Okay. Uh, every single day for a year. He's actually still wearing them beyond a year. No problems whatsoever. So, it is a very, very durable pant. Denim jeans, they last pretty well. Yeah. But again, they have a lifespan. Yeah. You pay a little bit more money for ours, you get all those tactical features you're looking for, you get all that stuff. You get the kind of stealth look too. Right, right. People don't really see that you got a tactical pant on yeah. it. But it is, it's got a special magazine pocket, it's got a special high padded waistband when you're wearing a belt with a bunch of stuff on it. And uh, that that Cordura blend, mm -hmm. that's what makes it killer. And it's stretch denim too as well. Well, that's what I was gonna say. I think that even if you, you have a full range of things you can use these pants for, including competition shooting. Oh yeah. Um, I've actually worn a pair of you guys' pants to shoot USPSA, and it gives me just enough stretch where I need it to where it's not bound up. I would never pair, wear a pair of regular blue jean denim pants to shoot USPSA, but I noticed wearing these pants that I had a little bit of give, so I tried them out, and they were perfect. Yeah. You know? Yeah. If, if any of you you've never tried uh, stretch denim, I mean, you got to give it a try. Yes. And, and, and there's some cheap stretch denim. Be careful if it stretches too much and it feels like a pajama. You might think that's good. They're not that good. But anyway, uh, stretch denim is something that's really cool. It's kind of a new thing. But but this stretch cordura denim that we got is something that's that's cool, but yet lives a long time. Well, I mean, most of our guys out there are, are average guys, so they're, they're blue collar guys. You know, we all know where our pants usually give at. It's where they don't stretch, in the knee or somewhere like that. Yeah. You know, you're gonna get these stretch pants, and again, you don't want the spandex stretch, but it's just enough give to where that seat, that uh, that pant is not gonna split at the knee. So you're gonna get more time out of it. Your mom or your wife didn't throw them out the door or toss them. I mean, I'd, be, I'd be kind of ticked off if I come home and my favorite pair of pants is gone, but you know what happens. <laughs> um, yeah. Where can everybody go to find the, more of the products and learn a little, little, little bit more about Big Toes? and uh, just get some knowledge about your products. Well, we have our own website. We do sell retail direct, and, and it's victos.com. So it's about as simple as you can get. Uh, the other thing, too, if you just type into Google, like like Victos Glove, Victos Pants, Victos Footwear, you're going to come up with multiple sellers that have it. So if, it, if you've got a favorite seller that you want to go to, then that's a good way to find them. Okay. So it's really good. I guess one last thing I, I want to point out, too, is Victos. Some people say, where do you come up with that name? Is that some weird European thing or something? And actually, there's a Latin word, invictus. And invictus means unconquered in Latin. And we just kind of shortened that up because we thought that was a really cool word. Yeah, yeah. We, we thought that the whole idea, the whole idea of being unconquered, whether whether you're, uh, whether it's something you're involved in or whether it's just a mentality, you just have the unconquered mentality. There's a lot of things that we get hit with every day. Right, right. There's a lot of challenges we all deal with every day. We just like the unconquered mentality. Just, yeah. just 
feel that you're unconquerable, and you will be unconquerable. I like it. I didn't even know that. Very cool. I like the backstory on that. Bill, thanks for hanging out with us today. Um, I know you got to go back to your booth. Yeah. Uh, hey, what booth number are you for anybody? Because we have some people here that are watching this live, and they're actually here at the show. What booth number do they go to? We're number L260, and we're over by the law enforcement pavilion, and we're actually out in the hallway, which is like one of the coolest places yeah. in the world to be. So we're not that difficult to find when you're there. It's easy to see. I think it's either coming up or going down the escalator. There's yep. a big sign there right behind the wall right there. Very easy to locate them. So uh, yeah. yeah, check them out if you're here at SHOT Show. Uh, Phil, th thanks again. Phil with Big Toes, uh, you know, I love you guys' products. Um, I feel good when I can stand behind somebody else's products. It's one thing to talk to somebody about their products, and I've never experienced them before. For a year, I've been using your stuff, and I love it. Well, thank you very much, and thank you for your attention. Very good.